Arsenal have had many legends across their illustrious history, but few have the sheer amount of adoration from their supporters that David Rowcastle held. A gunner thrown through, David Rowcastle, commonly known as Rocky, rose through the ranks at Ivory before establishing himself in the first team. In his seven years in the first team, he became an icon at the club, but his career after leaving Arsenal went extremely downhill before his life was tragically cut short. This is a story of the life of David Rocky Rowcastle. David Rowcastle was born on the 2nd of May 1967 in Lewisham, London. His parents were Caribbean immigrants who moved to London in the 1950s. When David was only five years old, his father passed away at the age of 29 from pneumonia. As the oldest child, David would take on the mantle of man of the house from his father. He grew up near future Arsenal teammate Ian Wright and they would often play football together on the street. He was initially rejected by Millwall, but joined Arsenal's academy in 1982. Rowcastle fit in right away. He became known as a person who had time for everyone, forming close bonds with staff across the club, as well as people in the local community. He quickly generated excitement at Arsenal, with chairman David Dean remarking to his wife, we've got a boy who could be Brazilian, and he comes from Lewisham. David Rowcastle made his senior debut for Arsenal in 1985 as an 18-year-old against Newcastle. He quickly established himself in midfield, playing 24 times and netting twice in his first campaign. George Graham came in as Arsenal manager in 1986 and placed an emphasis on the development of youth. As a result, Rowcastle kept his place in the side and was soon becoming a fan favourite. In 1987, Arsenal faced Tottenham in the semi-finals of the League Cup. The game was tied at one goal apiece, but in the dying minutes, Rowcastle scored to send the Gunners to Wembley. The goal sparked jubilant scenes amongst the Arsenal faithful, with Dean saying a key part was because it was one of their own who had played such a pivotal role in defeating their arch-rivals. David Rowcastle played the full 90 minutes on the right of midfield at Wembley, as two goals from Charlie Nicholas saw Arsenal beat Liverpool 2-1. It was Rowcastle's first major honour. He also picked up a number of personal accolades that year, being named in the PFA Team of the Year, and he also received the Barclays Young Eagle Award. His importance in the side was emphasised, as he played 52 games for the Gunners in all competitions the next campaign, and the 88-89 season would see him claim even more silverware. Rowcastle once again played a pivotal role in Arsenal's league campaign, playing in every game as the title race went to the wire. In dramatic circumstances, Arsenal would travel to Anfield to face league leaders Liverpool in the last game of the season. If Arsenal won by two goals, they would steal the title from Kenny Dalglish's side. Alan Smith scored to give Arsenal the lead in the 53rd minute, and in the dying seconds, Michael Thomas scored a dramatic goal to seal the league title for the Gunners, their first since 1971. Rowcastle now had a league title to his name too, and again won the Barclays Young Eagle Award. Arsenal finished fourth the next season, and Rowcastle would unfortunately miss out on selection for Bobby Robson's England squad at Italia 90. In the 1991 season, Rowcastle's presence in the Arsenal team was heavily disrupted by injury. He underwent knee surgery and broke his toe upon returning from injury before requiring further operation on his knee. He would, however, still make enough appearances to get a second league winner's medal, making 16 appearances in the league. The next season, Rowcastle would return to form, with old friend Ian Wright signing for the Gunners in 1991. It was the perfect union, with Wright saying that on his first night at Arsenal, he stayed up until 4am with Rowcastle, as the two discussed how much they loved the club. Their bond continued on the pitch in Ian Wright's league debut. In a game against Southampton, Ian Wright netted a hat-trick, and Rowcastle got the other, as Arsenal stormed to a 4-1 win. Rowcastle would play 47 games in all competitions that season, as it seemed he had re-secured his spot in the Gunners' lineup. But soon, the match made in heaven came to an abrupt end. George Graham spoke to Rowcastle in his car at the team's draining ground, with teammate Perry Groves seeing the conversation and noting that Rowcastle was in tears. 
George Graham informed the 25-year-old Rowcastle that he was being sold to Leeds United. The move caused outrage amongst Arsenal staff and supporters alike, and the exact reasons as to why Graham sold Rowcastle remain unclear. The deal was described by many as stupid and disrespectful, with Ian Wright saying that he cried for days after finding out about the sale. There was hope for Rowcastle though. Leeds are reigning league champions, so there was still scope for more silverware. However, it never truly worked out. While Leeds fans took a shine to Rocky, he was sold to Manchester City in 1993. His career continued a downward spiral, with him having spells at Chelsea, Norwich, Hull, and even Sabah in Malaysia. His struggles of injury meant his career never hit the heights of before. Rowcastle decided that the injuries were too much to bear, and called time on his playing career in 1999, hoping to go into coaching. But soon, just like his playing career, his life was about to be tragically cut short. In October 2000, David Rowcastle was informed that he was suffering from non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, an aggressive form of cancer that compromises the immune system. He underwent a course of chemotherapy, hopeful of recovery. But sadly, the disease took its toll on him as he became weaker and weaker. Family friend Jerome Anderson remarked that as Rowcastle underwent treatments, even as he weakened and lost his hair, he never stopped smiling. David Dean decided to pay a visit to Rowcastle in March 2001 and presented him with a fresh Arsenal shirt with Rowcastle 7 on the back, signed by the entire Arsenal squad. David Rowcastle was thrilled with the gift. Soon after this, Rowcastle finally lost the fight. On the 31st of March 2001, David Rowcastle died at the age of 33, leaving behind a wife and three children. On the same day as his death, Arsenal beat Tottenham 2-0, with Robert Pires wearing the number 7 Rowcastle once wore, getting on the score sheet. Rowcastle's funeral was held five days later, with the likes of Ian Wright, Mickey Thomas, Alan Smith, Paul Davis, and Tony Adams serving as pallbearers. In 2006, Arsenal opened the David Rowcastle Indoor Centre at the club's academy to help young Gunners break into the first team and make a name for themselves as he did. His image is illustrated outside the Emirates Stadium, and his quote about the club, remember who you are and what you represent, will forever remain in the hearts of Gunners. In his short life, David Rowcastle endeared himself to so many across the footballing world. He was a man who simply loved Arsenal and lived out the dream of taking his boyhood club to glory. Whilst his life was short, he achieved a huge amount in his time on this earth, and his name will be passed down to generations so that the legend of David Rocky Rowcastle will live forever. <laughs>